my music taste changed on 9-11. But on 9-11, I didn't like how rock music responded. And country music collectively, the way they responded, it resonated with me. And I have to say, it just as a gut level, I, I had an emotional reaction that says, these are my people. And so ever since 2001, I listened to country music. Got to stop. Um, because the last... Pence does it in Indiana, and all of a sudden, gays won't have any rights. More. I understand that there's been a tremendous... Uh, amount of misinformation and misunderstanding uh, around this bill, and I'm just determined, uh, and I appreciate the time on your program, I'm just determined to clarify this. Well, this, is, uh, this is about uh, protecting the religious liberty uh, of uh, people of faith and families of faith across this country. That's what it's been for more than 20 years, and that's what it is now as the law in Indiana, George. And uh, that's not good enough for George. See, George wants to play gotcha. He wants to play gotcha, and he kept playing, trying to play gotcha. Well, he kept playing, but he didn't win. Watch. This is not about discrimination. This is but, about empowering people let me to try confront to pin you, government let me try to overreach, pin you down George. There, though, on it because your supporters say it would. And so, so, yes or no, if a florist in Indiana refuses to serve a gay couple uh, at their wedding, is that legal now in Indiana? George, this is this is where this debate has gone with with misinformation and uh, frankly, it's just a question, sir. Yes so, or no? Well, well, this, there's been shameless rhetoric about my state and about this law and about its intention all over the internet. People are trying to make it about one particular issue, and now you're doing that as well. Right. Now, listen. There are there are religious, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Christian and other religious florists and bakers who don't want to participate in what they don't believe in. Should they be forced to? But nobody asked these questions when Bill Clinton signed it, when Barack Obama voted for it, only when Pence signs it. Here's more. The Religious Freedom Restoration Act has been on the books for more than 20 years. It does not apply, George, to disputes between individuals unless government action is involved. And in point of fact, in more than two decades, the Religious Freedom Restoration Act has never been used to undermine anti-discrimination laws in this country. Sir. It doesn't apply to individuals unless government's involved. And it's never been used in that nature, as he just said. So why make it an issue? You know why. Here's more. That was one of your supporters who was talking about the bill right there. It said it would protect a Christian florist who, uh, yeah. against any kind of punishment. Is that true or not? George, look, the, the issue here is, you know, is tolerance a two-way street or not? I mean, you know, there's a lot of talk about tolerance in this country today having to do with people on the left. Uh, and, uh, but here Indiana steps forward to protect uh, the constitutional rights and privileges of freedom of religion uh, for people of faith and families of faith uh, in our state. And this avalanche of intolerance that's been poured on our state is just outrageous. You see, that is a key point. Tolerance is a two-way street, or at least it should be. Some of the most intolerant people you will ever meet are the radical anything on the left, the radical LBG, LGBT um, supporters and, and organizers, uh, the, the, the radical atheists on the left. They, they demand total acceptance of their point of view. And if you dare don't give them total acceptance, you're a bigot, you're a homophobe, you're this. Where's their tolerance for other points of view on the Steve Malzberg Show? Hi, my name is Dr. Karen Patel, and I'm a pain management physician and anesthesiologist. It's important to know how to safely discard of unneeded prescription medication. You want to follow any specific disposal instructions on the prescription drug labeling or the patient information that accompanies the medication. If no disposal instructions are given on the prescription drug labeling and no take-back programs are available in your area, here are some simple steps that you can follow. Remove medication from any original containers and mix them with undesirable substance. Place the mixture in a sealable bag empty can or other container to prevent the drug from leaking out or breakage of the garbage bag. Some other important considerations to keep in mind is that before throwing out a medicine container, scratch out all identifying information on the prescription label to make it unreadable. And when in doubt about proper disposal, talk to your physician.